is the worst barrier to successful investing? Simply put, the effects of bad debt. It stands to reason that by eliminating bad debt, more of your hard-earned dollars can be set aside for investments. The sooner you begin this process, the more effective you will become in compounding your investment returns over the years. From a money management perspective, there is both good and bad debt. Good debt is money you borrow at a low interest rate and then invest it at a higher rate of return. You are using other people's money as leverage to make you money. Bad debt or consumer debt is money you borrow at a high interest rate to buy things that don't produce income or grow in value. It is the effect of compounding rates of return working against you instead of for you that becomes a financial drain. For example, if you're paying 18% for your credit card debt and trying to make 12% on your stock investments, you end up going backwards at a rate of 6% compounded per year. Here are three simple guidelines when taking on debt. Only consider taking on or keeping debt if number one, you are an experienced and successful investor with a proven track record of compounded returns in excess of 15% per year. Number two, the interest rate on the debt is less than one third of your expected rate of return on your investment. For example, if your rate of return is 15%, you can comfortably borrow at 5%. Number three, your total debt, excluding your house and vehicle, can be paid off within one year from your annual savings. Following these basic guidelines allows you to concentrate more of your efforts on capital appreciation over the long term as opposed to debt financing. The sooner that you can take the necessary steps to eliminate your bad debt out of the investment equation, the faster you can move towards reaching a point of financial freedom.